Welcome to my channel. My name is Michael. I am here to help you move into the 5D manifestation and how you can create your reality from the perspective of living in the 5D. Today I gathered five things that I really see how you can create your life in terms of the, all of the desires and that you want and everything that you need but from a little bit of a different perspective on a, in a little bit of a different space than maybe the old paradigm the old world was like kind of working in and join me on this video where I talk about these things let's dive into it some of the things might be sound like yeah of course but hear me out on these things when I say this the first thing that I really like see in my own life and other people and around me is that you really need to know what you want, your desires, and taking action from a place where you're not attached to the outcome. It means that you gotta, you know and you have a subconscious desire and want for something and that is always going to play out no matter what you tell yourself. It doesn't matter if you say you want something and then you don't really want it that's gonna be stronger than your own mind where you think you want something if that makes sense to you and in the space where you kind of like you got to be really truthful to what is what you actually want and what the mind tells you the mind will tell you a lot of different things that is maybe not true or what you think is true but it's not true and the result of that is going to be your subconscious playing out the real desire that you want in your heart and here it's like if you're not honest to yourself about what you really want it's going to be a reflection of your world anyway so start with getting to the core of what is the real truth many of us comes from a place of like people pleasing or we come from a place of like not speaking our wants and needs and all of a sudden they can be like our decision can be affected by that type of wounding so when we are not really super clear on the things we actually want because we're afraid of speaking it or there if we care about what other people think about us or things like that that will then you will just have to go through it there will be a time where you're like yeah I really uh, want this thing but I only want that because of what my parents actually wanted then that needs to be looked at because you will always manifest the things that you're subconsciously programmed to want from your parents or your caregivers or whatever that has been around you and in this place it's always about jumping as I see it you need to basically jump in to the unknown and jump into this act like this place of where you want to go daring to go for the things that you actually care about even if you're scared about that or even if you're going to talk about that a little bit like putting intentions rather than being stuck in your mind about something many times it's more powerful to just put the intention there and then let it all go and allow the situation to play out many times we have ideas about how things should work out and how it should play out but in this world and the 5d world the only thing that's gonna play out is the subconscious real truth that is often hidden and covered by a lot of other things so getting clear and really daring to speak it because the way you say things is also the way the world listens to you so when in this new 5d earth it's gonna be like how you dare speaking your core deepest truth about what you actually want to experience and then allowing life to like give it to you with ease like give it that like you're supposed to receive it you're supposed to be able to just have it given to you and many times when we show the universe the world that we are serious about something and we jump against it like we take a decision in the moment of that we kind of like I don't know how it's gonna play out but the how is not my job my job is to take the action towards 
the things that I want. And that means maybe I need to jump towards it and and just trust the side that even if I take if you have two decisions and then you're like, I don't know which one to go for. You jump towards one of them and don't look back. Stop thinking about it and just live your life and enjoy the ride while you're there and know inside of you that things will play out in the exact right way that it needs to. Not from a place of victimhood or like, I can't do it or like, how should... mm." No, just keep on starting the momentum towards whatever that you want to go. Just take a decision, jump to that one, take a new one and jump to that one and dare taking the decision all the time. That's how you show life that I'm serious about what I want. And maybe I thought it was three steps, but all of a sudden the universe has like, oh, it's actually nine. Living with the uncertainty, because the amount of certainty that you comfortably can handle, the better you will thrive. Because the uncertainty will be the key thing of how you handle things. If you can't handle uncertainty and like a little bit of chaos and tumult and things that you you don't really know what's going to happen. If you always need to be certain about everything you do in life, you're not going to get anywhere. It's just going to be impossible for you to move on because you have an idea about how things will play out. But that's your mind. That is not life itself. I would say 99% of the times it plays out uh, differently, what I thought, but the end result is often that what I wanted or better. And if you are stuck in certainty all the time and like control, that's gonna force you to end up in situation where you're gonna have to learn to deprogram yourself from that. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later, but so in this space of the 5D, we're gonna have to live with the uncertainty. We're going to be a friend to the uncertainty. We're going to enjoy the uncertainty. And we're going to really live with uncertainty all the time. And just like trust the process. Trust that things will come to you in the exact right time that you need it to. It's very hard for the mind because the the ego in the mind when it kind of like wants to control it. No, I want it this way, but I want it that way. blah, 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 blah. But when you can live with it, all of a sudden you're like, oh... It was actually easier than I thought. It was easier than I ever could predict it. And that is like, for me, it's beautiful because all of a sudden when you can lean into that and you can kind of like, and you know, it's like a knowing within you that it's going to happen, but how it happens and when it plays out is not your job to take care of. Leave that to the universe, the world to sort that out and make sure that it's kind of like, it's gonna solve itself. The next thing is really interesting and I love this thing. It's I call it passing the test. And this has to do with karma and it has to do with uh, your situation, whatever shows up in your life. You will constantly be given tests. And the only way you progress is to pass the test. And when you pass the test, you literally move on and life can kind of like okay now you can go and now you are ready for the next thing and you will get a test and you get a test and you get a test and you get a test and it keeps on kind of like giving you tests and really leaning into wanting to pass the tests and in my own life and what I've seen with all of other people we all have karma karma for me is 100% real It's nothing that it's just woo-woo someone talked about. And when I really understood karma, when I really figured out that karma is a thing, and then we have energetic loads literally inside of us, we have contracts and we have karma with people. And we come from either this life or another life where we done certain things and we haven't resolved the karma, then the karma was passed on to us into this life. The world keep a score of the karma. And the more karma you work off, the better it gets. Because the karma is an energetic load that's like you had too much of something and now you have to balance things out. Life is always striving for balance. 
So for I'm just going to give an example. If you've been taking lives in another life, let's say you were someone that actually took other people's lives. In this lifetime, you will have to give life. And that will mean that you have to give and you have to uh, serve other people. And many times in my own situations, I, I've been in really strange situations with people. And I was just like, oh, I had a karmic load to this person. And when I paid off my karma to this person by passing the tests in the situation with that person, I then resolved the karma and I resolved the energetic load between us. And all of a sudden, life just kind of like freed me. And then like, okay. And then that situation resolved. It's kind of like that person mo disappeared or uh, you just like, no, I'm done here. Like, I don't, I don't want to stay here or like, I want to move on or I, whatever that is. And when you do this, you also grow spiritually, intellectually. You get more wisdom. You get more understanding about life. Your consciousness and vibration raises. So the karma and passing tests... Uh, it's a big thing and I, I can get like I can give you an example of what I mean with a test so let's say you meet a person and you are in this uh, situation where you have entangled yourself with this person and you uh, you can't get along or uh, maybe you're in a business situation with a person or even with a partner thing and you keep arguing or fighting about something when you understand that maybe you needed to speak your truth, maybe you need to stand up for this person, maybe you needed to help the person in a way or another, maybe you need to meet the person on a higher level, which means that that person is, uh, you can feel that, like, I need to be the, the, the grown-up in this situation, and I need to lead the conversation to resolve whatever issue we have with ease we need to i need to resolve that kind of like whatever dynamic is between you and that other person so i make sure that i actually do something good for this person or i resolve it in a good way for both of us and and maybe that could be really scary maybe that could be like no i don't want to do it this person is completely cuckoo or whatever that is when you step up and understand your own lesson between you and that person or that situation all of a sudden when you actually do it and speak it and be it you many times resolve and you pass the test and then and it's like how do you know you pass the test you know when you pass the test if the situation is resolved when the situation is resolved you will feel inside of you like oh there is an ease and like you can cut the cord you can cut the connection or you can cut whatever or you actually become really good friends or something resolves where it feels with ease and it's like oh that was nice but taking that dis discussion with that, that person was like woo or like saying that thing to that person was like really like wow I was really scared I was really uh, non-prepared of how I should do things but when I just sat down and I had I, I had a I was breathing and I was talking from a place of my own truth. All of a sudden, that is resolved and then you move on and you're like, yeah. Many times the tests, they come with an insight. They come with the lesson. They come with something. You know, I actually, when you start to reflect on it, you're like, oh, I learned that speaking my truth was really nice. Or I learned that when I said this and this and then when I responded with love and like I was calm and I didn't react and I, whatever that could be, that felt really good. So that's a very cool thing when you start to see it because it starts to appear everywhere and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm on my path of working off karma. Comment what, uh, what's been going on if you had other people in your life that this is happening or if you have yeah whatever that is comment down below and I will also say that many times when we don't pass the test we just get another person or another situation that is just the same so you kind of like oh now the same situation happens again why is the same sh situation happen it's because you didn't pass the test with the other one then life gives you another chance to do the same thing over and over so it's just up to you like how long do I want to keep doing this do I want to pass the test and move on or do I want to 
try again. And the next thing is crucial. I saying this to people everywhere, but it's like when you want to manifest something into your life, many times the universe needs you to move your body to a different location and to do something like you need to meet the universe halfway. So if you want to manifest something, you got to actually move. You can't just sit and like, ah, it's going to come. Maybe something happens with that, but mostly you got to, you need to move your body in ways that you didn't thought was like, wow, I needed to go that far. I needed to do this. Or every time you move your body, you put yourself in a situation where life can meet you half ways. Like you have 50% of the job and the, the world and the universe has 50% of the job. So if you don't understand this and you just sit home and you don't do anything, nothing's going to happen often. And when putting intentions in, it's very important to let go of the idea. And if you keep thinking about it all the time, when is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? It's many times it won't come because what you're, what you're basically saying is that I don't have it. It's not here. Uh, I, I want it now. And, and that doesn't really work. It, what in my own situation, what I've learned is that you need to set the intention, be sure and know inside of you that this is the thing I want, but allowing the universe to take its time to give it to you. And being able to receive is probably more far important than anything else. Most people don't talk about this, but if you have constant ideas about why you can't receive or why something is bad. Uh, maybe you want more money in your life, but you have, have really strong conflicts and beliefs about why money is bad for you or you have a situation with your parents and, and they used money against you or someone else. Then you need to work on that belief or that situation because your subconscious is like thousand times stronger than your mind and your mind can tell you I want money but in the core you have a strong belief and a story of a situation that played out why you should not have money maybe that was threatening you as a child and it took off your connection with your mother and father or something like your caregiver and that uh, belief will make sure that you either self-sabotage or push money or if it now we just talk about money but it could be anything uh, to push uh, that thing away and you will not get it so it's very important to have a look at that aspect of like what's underneath the hood what is there and why is it not coming and then i have something that sounds maybe super cringy or like uh, ah, of course everyone talks about this but like Facing your fears was probably one of the things that is going to lead you exactly where you need to be. If you just followed your fear as bread crumbles of like, where is it that I am scared? Where is the fear showing up in my life when it comes to my own uh, manifestations and like what, what I actually want to do? Uh, if you get really truthfully honest to yourself and like, I'm actually scared of this and this and this, that is often the way that you need to go. If you're not facing the fears that you have or doing something about the fear, and that could be like bodily, you can do detoxification with it. I have protocols in, in the bio. I would put it in the link here as well. Uh, for example, when um, uh, if you have a fear about something, fear is often connected to the kidneys and, and the kidneys hold the fear in your body. Uh, when you st start to do like if you want to look at the physical aspect, if you want to start doing liver cleanses, for example, when you do liver cleanses, the fear will also resolve. But fear can also resolve by you f actually facing the situation. So if you combine the two of like doing the detox with my body, but at the same time, I'm still fearful of something out there. But that's the way to go like on other side of fear if fear is a coin and there's fear here and that's the only thing you can see behind fear is always in my hallucination bliss bliss and beauty and like amazing things is always on the other side of fear and but we get paralyzed by it and we get caught up in the feeling and the emotion of it and we just keep feeling it without letting it go because sometimes the fear can actually feel safe and familiar so you'd rather stay with a familiar than actually letting it go because what will happen when you let go of fear 
If you just think about this question now, what will happen in my life if I had zero fear? What would I do? What would I do in my life if I'd have zero fear? When this, when you really start to contemplate, meditate on this thing and sit and think about it, what would I do? There will be so many things that will come up that that will even create more fear because it can come to like, oh shit, I would do this and this and this and this and this and this. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, then you know exactly where you, you are going to go. So I would say that two things that are that I've been focusing on myself and I've seen where it just gives credible amount of results is karma and fear and both need to be worked off. So you should work off the karma and you should work off the fear. That gives you a straight path to your whatever success into your life is. Um, and I think that these two parts is also a very spiritual thing. So like I used to ask my question, who would I be and what can I do with my life if I worked off all my karma, I am free from that and I'm also free from the fear what can I do and who, who, what can I become in my life? Uh, there is often a, a lot of stuff that will show up and you're like, you know what? I just realized that I've been buried with, with, with this fear. Life has put fear on me in, with different kinds of spell, uh, in different things through media and people around me. And like, I remember myself when I kind of like left the matrix and there was so many people like, oh, you can't go out and do this or that uh, Mexico is really like I remember when I went to Mexico and now people are like, oh, Mexico is so dangerous. Mexico is not dangerous at all. You will only attract these negative things if you are burdened by fear. We always attract who we are. And if you carry a lot of fear and anger and like confrontational things and stuff you will experience that in your life but if you worked off all of that wherever you go is going to be beautiful there's going to be no problems everything's going to be served to you as a, like everything's going to go with ease it's going to flow it's going to like just play out in the way you wanted it's going to be absolutely beautiful but if you are if you have all of this kind of accumulated things within you you are going to con be confronted and that's what people are b being. They're being confronted by the world with all of the things that's already within them. And when they are, they blame the country, they blame the people. I can't go there, I can't do this and this person scammed me over there and blah, 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 blah. No, it, it was because you attracted it because it was already within you. If someone scammed you, you have a probably a deep belief about you being scammed or your mother or father being scammed or someone in the family or like you've been told stories about people getting scammed or whatever that is. You will always end up in situation where you are able to learn. In a situation where you're getting scammed, you have a situation where you can look at yourself and let that stuff go. If you're on a motorbike and you crash on the motorbike for some reason, you drive really fast and you crash with it, there's a reason with that. Maybe you have a lot of adrenaline and cortisol and you're stressing too much in your life and you need to slow down. The situation with the motorcycle accident was teaching you to slow down. Look at yourself and heal those parts that are stressing. If I'm just taking that as an example, I hear people all the time. Yeah, I crashed my motorcycle so fast, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, OK, interesting. Then I know exactly what goes on in your body. If you just tell me that, I know exactly straight away. So in this 5D world, it's more about understanding what life is teaching you, what life is telling you and what it has to offer you because it always has something to offer you in a lesson. A lesson, a teaching, something where you get knowledge or you let go of something emotionally so that not happen again. And remember, you will get the same lesson as many times as you need. So now it's up to you if you move on. And remember, all of these problems are gifts. They are a way for you to grow.
nothing else and it's never gonna stop it's never going to stop it's gonna keep going on if you meet a partner if you get a new job or whatever you're gonna meet you're gonna have problems you're gonna have situations and all of them are there for your spiritual growth I know this kind of like takes off this filter of like oh, I want to live my life and I want to do all of this stuff and I just want to enjoy and like rrr, rrr. no you're here to evolve the universe is always con constantly evolving and growing and expanding just like you are supposed to do but and, until we understand that we actually came here and that it's it's the thing that we're doing it's going to be a hard thing to confront all of the problem and you're going to believe that oh, I'm not supposed to have a problem well I can tell you without problem you're not getting anywhere in your life you can't get the success you can't learn you can't get the things you want like you you can't get rich there's nothing that you are able to do if you don't understand that problems and situations and people and whatever shows up in your reality is there for you to grow and learn I hope you subscribe and to the channel because that will help out the channel so much so I can keep doing this content if you like it comment down below how it's going for you and I see you in the next video